Well, welcome to the first edition of the Kronbochoch. I'm really pleased to have here my Welsh brother, the best rider, the best ultra cycling rider in the world and out of all of times. And well, we need to learn. We need to learn and we always learn every day riding. So uh, Matthew will help us to keep learning and she will discover the secrets of ultra cycling. Thank you, Joanne. Did you say that I was the greatest cyclist in the world? Yeah, that's true. That is completely and utterly true. True story. Um, so, um, yeah, thank you for welcoming me to Cron Voyoy. Uh, you, uh, Thomas and the other guys. Really good time. My pleasure. Great being here. Uh, we're going to keep this short because we've got a lot of partying to do once we finish this video. So, right. So at the front, we've got an exposure light. Perfect light for all occasions. This is my backup. If you have a look here, I've got my primary light. He got about 36 hours on the low beam, um, flashing much longer than that. So I estimate between these two lights, I'm going to have enough for the for the ride. Um, we've got some feed bags here, uh, restrap feed bags, the new race ones, really good. One hand opening system, one hand closed system. Put quite a lot of food in there. Um, we've got these side pockets which are really handy. So I've got some sun cream, I've got other bits and pieces. Moving on to my bike as a whole, so we see it's an Enigma. Titanium, in my opinion, is the perfect choice for a, uh, an ultra endurance race. Uh, we go with Enigma because, again, in my opinion, they make the best titanium bikes in the world. I've got their race, their new race line bag from Restrap. Awesome piece of kit. It's got this storm shower here, stops rain getting in. It's amazing how much stuff you can fit in there. I've got my bivy in there. I've got some clothes, I've got power banks, I've got all sorts of stuff. Um, my air map, Neo Air. Uh, got some carbohydrate drinks there, uh, courtesy of Sturka, a great British brand. Um, they're part of the Pan Celtic race and they're uh, involved with Cronvoyoy. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying them out on this event. We come through then to the board's the back, a silica pump, spare in a tube with a gas canister as a backup. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six rear lights in total. Sounds a lot, but it just means that I've got laser redundancy and I just want to be seen day and night. In the back here, we have my sleeping bag, insulated jacket, arm warmers, leg warmers, a rain jacket, a hat, insulated gloves, all packed down nicely into the back. This is just rock solid here. Um, look at that, just uh, think it's an awesome piece of kit. And then moving on to the type of stuff that I'm taking on the ride itself. Um, so this is the kind of stuff I normally take. Can't, can't beat Tabasco sauce. You get fed up at uh, eating sweet food, so the Tabasco is a nice contrast to that. Obviously toothpaste, guacamole is a must. Um, I don't like slicing cheese, I like grated cheese, so I bring my cheese grater. We've got here some, um, some of that stuff. That's really nice. Um, Alpacin shampoo, it's the caffeine stuff, so it makes my hair go a bit quicker, makes me go quicker. Obviously ketchup, uh, chips. If you know a British person likes chips, well they do. We all love chips in, the, in the, the UK. Some oil there for my bike. Some Percy pigs there for when I'm um, running low on energy. We have some raspberries there. Love you to get some of your five a day, so I use them. And then finally, um, a cleaning sponge. So at the end of each day, I'll take the chain off, give it a quick clean down with this, make sure it's all running smoothly. Oh, and a um, prawn cocktail sandwich. Beautiful, nice fresh food for the race. And then what I'd take doing this year is I thought I'd bring um, a spare bike. So here's my spare bike, kitted out with some restrap stuff. The top tube bag, we've got a feed bag here. And then, moving on. And then finally, I watched the film um, back end of last year during the pandemic. And it got me thinking, the film was called, I don't know if you've seen it, it's called Ant-Man. And in that film, there was a guy and he's able to make things really small and shrink them down. So that's what I've done, gone and done. I've shrunk down the Welsh Embassy. It's here, I brought it with me. And I've um, I shrunk Rebecca, there she is. She's um, not saying much. She's a bit pissed off that I've shrunk her, so she's not saying much. I brought Gypsy and Curly, and they changed colour. 
somehow through the shrinking process. But the idea is, is um, I know it's self-supported, but I'm carrying all this stuff with me so I can use it. It's within the rules. And each night I'm going to unshrink them and I'll have a good night's sleep in the Welsh Embassy. And um, that's it. Thanks very much.